Engineers tend to look at the streets that they build, the intersections that they have, the roads they design, the same way a, a parent will look at a, a, a newborn child. They look at this like cycle of life where the child will become a toddler and then an adolescent and then puberty and then reach adulthood. And, and we marvel at that, we cheer that, we uh, feel joy when that happens. And engineers often treat their parts of their system in the same way. They say, well, the, this is just a, a baby intersection and someday it will have a, a four-way stop and someday it will be fully signalized and then someday it will be an interchange. And the thing that makes all those transitions happen are called warrants. When a warrant is met, then uh, we have to take that four-lane stop because there's enough traffic here now and we got to make it into a signal. And when warrants are met, uh, we've got to take that two-lane road and add a, a turn lane on the side or put in an extra lane. Warrants are the things that prompt us to make additional investments in transportation. And oftentimes engineers treat them as if they're automatic, they're out of their control. It's just like that child growing up. We can cheer every step because it just means success along the way. This of course is not reality. The reality is, is we make changes to our, our zoning, our development pattern, everything all the time, all over in the system. And we don't take into account the cumulative effects that that has on these other transportation investments. So while the left hand is out celebrating growth and development and jobs, the right hand is looking at this accumulation of costs that accrue because of these warrants. The way to use warrants is not as the tip off for the next project or the thing that is gonna force you to do something. The warrant should be used to get out in front of your development strategy. It should be used to say, we don't have the money to put in this signal, therefore we are not going to A, B, C, D from a development standpoint. Engineers understand this. They should speak up during these process because they have this insight. They often don't and they often don't because they are celebrating the maturing of that transportation investment. It's the wrong way to look at things. My name's Chuck Marone, and that is my confession.